the most, right? The highest, highest. That was when I had like two or three events in a month. About 6.5k to 7k. Yeah, that was my highest month. That's a, that's a very substantial number. Hi, I'm Ria. I'm a cosplayer and uh, I'm currently studying as an acting student and I'm immortal. Why not? Let's go with that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how did you get started in cosplaying? It was a very de developmental stage of my life when I started cosplay. And I didn't have a lot of friends also because... Bullying. Oh no. <laughs> nah, it's, it's, it's very common. What was the extent like for you? I mean, it, it's pretty bad. Like back then, like my EQ is like quite low. Like, I was just very slow when it came to social situations. In Japanese, they have a saying called uh, Kuki Yome Night. That means you can't read the room, you can't read the air. And that was something that I struggled with as a kid lah. Uh, and apparently it rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. And I didn't even realise I was being bullied until like I was 15? Like halfway through and I was like, wait, this is not how people get treated by their friends, like what? So what do you think was going on? Like, I that? thought like people were just like, like that law, like, like I'm just their, their friend that helps them out a lot, that kind of shit. It, it just kind of sucked lah. The male classmates started like uh, harassing, like sexually harassing me and then they were like, call me really weird things that I really didn't understand. It got really bad and then the girls would like egg them on to do it. Like I try not to remember much of, of secondary school as much as I can. But um, honestly, because I didn't have a lot of friends, I did very well for all levels. Tip. <laughs> Just study your, your, your worries away. Life hack. Uh. Yeah, I got seven points all. Don't play. Oh. Oh, yeah, wow. fuck me. Sir. Wow. Who, needs, who needs friends, you know, when yeah. you can get good O level grades? Hell yeah. <laughs> Dude, I sound like a, the, the dream Singaporean kid. Don't hang out with people, just study, right? My daughter very good one. She come back after school and then she would just study. Yeah, yeah. Very good, very good. Then her grades very good. Yeah. Yeah, you know my son. Uh, why cannot be like your daughter like that? Crazy eh. <laughs> See, my daughter so smart one. I don't think my mom actually did that. <laughs> uh. <laughs> My parents actually like asked me like, so how are you money on? And then I'm like, uh, cosplay. And then they, ha! <laughs> Cause for years, for years they were like, oh, it's just some hobby that she'll get over it. And then they realized that you earn money. <laughs> it's not a glamorous sum of money, but it's it's really substantial. It's really enough to just survive. At first, I was like very dismissive towards their worries, huh? And then COVID like hit, and I was like, oh. You're right. <laughs> that that yeah. explains a lot, eh, it actually. Is, it yeah. is really hard. Like, like it was the, the period where I really strongly thought about what my parents were talking to me about. When COVID hit, my earnings on that month of lockdown dropped. When I really thought about it, like, then I'm truly non-essential. I mean, I, I really had to just suck it up, la, which is why I decided to go back to school. I think firstly, thank you for, for sharing that it was it must have been very personal to you. Yeah, it's okay, yeah so thank you. Um, but having said that, then it just goes to show like how much cosplay helped because it helped you like be like I can't remember what was the Japanese phrase you used, but it helped you be more aware uh, of like yeah, yeah. the room. Would you say? Yeah, yeah. and people were more much more patient with me because a big part of my social life. Um, after graduating secondary school was the cosplay community. During the period of like bullying and like isolation, a lot of I found a lot of comfort within um, watching anime and all that kind of stuff. And then being around people became comfortable again slowly. Yeah. Mm, that's nice. I'm really glad. So, we have a little surprise. Because you are obviously an expert. Yeah. I want you to teach me how to be a cosplayer. Okay. So, what's the first step that I need to do if I wanna like cosplay? Uh, watch 500 hours of anime. Done. I have chosen uh -huh. a character which I'm pretty sure you would know. Drum roll. Rob Lee. Oh my god! <laughs> I love Rob Lee! <laughs> oh my god, exciting, 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 exciting. Yeah. For Rob Lee, right? Mm -hmm. I have the hair. 
So what do I need to do like for like the makeup? Eyebrows. Kind of okay, eyebrows. so other than eyebrows, do you think I should like do like eyeliner and stuff? Because he doesn't wear eyeliner. Oh no, but he does. So because if you see does? the bottom, there is um, eyelashes. So you might want to put mascara, or you can draw lines. Okay. And we are back. Wow, can I just say, Ria, you look like a totally different person. Yeah. Like, honestly. That's the point, bro. That's, that's very <laughs> true. Okay, but next important question. Mm. How did I do? I give it a solid 5 out of 7. I'll take that. How much did this outfit cost you? You can give a rough ballpark number. With the shoes? 150? Is that considered good? Yeah, it's like, an average, average costing cost, yeah. Oh, okay. So in your time when you were full-timing as a cosplayer, mm -hmm. what was the most you've ever earned in like one month? Like an average? The most, right? The highest, highest. That was when I had like two or three events in a month. Uh, about 6.5k to 7k. Yeah, that was my highest month. That's a, that's a very substantial number. Right, like, I, boom, like, like, oh, very grateful. That's, that's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> I get overwhelmed sometimes when I think about it. Like, is this real? Mm. From what you shared just now, from like your journey, from the person you were in secondary school, which you said like you hardly had any friends, mm. to now you have found yourself a community. That's, yeah. that's, that's a really nice right? thing. Oh my god. Essentially, like, a lot of people say oh, it's such an expensive hobby. You spend so much money on this. Um, weeby hobby that ultimately serves no purpose like 10 or 20 years down the road but it's because of this hobby that I have friends all the way in Canada I have friends like all around the world that I can turn to like to talk to or like to crash in their houses when I visit countries and um, it's it's an investment sure and it might not pay off but but I have really no regrets it, it really changed me as a person it, it made me a more mature and developed person yeah, like some people think that, oh, like this, this hobby is for escapists, this hobby is for like um, people who don't want to face reality or some kind of shit lah. But like, I don't think I would be half of what I am without this hobby. Yeah.